die there give birth to children there what am i doing with my life immaculate what are you doing with your life hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're a new subscriber welcome if you're a returning subscriber welcome back so guys today i'm going to be doing a get ready with me video as i talk about myself i'd like for you guys to get to know me a little bit more so i sent you um, questions on Instagram and you guys were really interactive you asked me some really nice questions so out of all of them I chose some and the ones that I'm going to be answering in this video of today so stay tuned watch till the end show me some love and as always ensure you have something to drink because the tea the stories the experiences always magnificent cheers guys <laughs> So I just finished cleaning, freshened up, and did everything that I needed to do, and I am back. I need to do my makeup right now because I'm actually running late. But yes, I need to do my makeup right now and get to know a little bit about me. This should be interesting. But first, uh, let me do my eyebrows off camera, and I'll be right back. Sit tight. So I'm done doing my eyebrows, as you all can see. So let's get down to the video. If you see me looking down, it's because I'm looking at the questions. The phone is down here, so I have to look at the questions. And this way, I'm looking at the mirror because I'm doing my makeup as I get ready with you guys. So the first question is, what's your actual real name? My actual name is Immaculate. That is actually my name. And not Emma. It is not Immaculate. It is Immaculate. Because I'm insisting on that because so many people mistake my name. For immaculate i think immaculate is a common name but immaculate is also a common name so my name is immaculate not immaculate so yeah the second question is what's your hobby my hobby that will be trying new foods i love i love i don't i don't say i love eating but i love trying new foods i love swimming and i love being indoors i don't know if being indoors is a hobby but yeah i love swimming i love trying new foods i love going to new places i don't like traveling i don't like the process of traveling to get to somewhere new i like being in the new place so if i can just teleport and whew, i am there then that is what i like doing so yeah the other question is what is your birth year i was born in the 90s that is all i can say Somebody said, somebody somewhere, wakitambo, wahenga na wahenguzi. They said, it is very rude to ask a woman her age, Buanda. So, I was born in the 90s. That's all I can say. Um, how comes you never reply, my DM? Wow. Uh, okay. <laughs> how comes I never respond to your DM? Whoever asked that question, I am responding to you here. So, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do not respond to the DM because, I mean, do you all respond to all DMs? If you're asking me something that I can respond to, I promise you I'm going to respond. If it's something that is honestly not sitting right with me, then I'll probably end up just not responding to it. So yeah, but I have responded to you on my YouTube. The other question is, what's your favorite food? My favorite food, that will be pilau, made by me. I was, however, taught how to make pilau by a very good friend of mine. He makes the best pilau, like the best, like finger licking, really nice pilau. But my best food to eat is pilau. If it has some chicken thighs, apokando, even better. So yeah, that's my favorite food to eat. Um, the next question is, do you drink? Do I drink? I do have a cup of tea next to me. Do I drink? Hold on. Mm. yes i do drink occasionally though I, I i consume alcohol but i do that occasionally i am not a daily drinker i am not ambushing anyone that drinks daily though it is not the best thing to do drinking daily is definitely not the best thing to do unless you want to i am not here to advise anyone please don't get me wrong but yeah i don't drink daily that's just how i prefer to live my life just not drink daily the next question is 
if you could live anywhere where would it be if i could live anywhere where will that be hands down switzerland have you guys seen the images of switzerland like that place is drop dead gorgeous oh my goodness i would live there die there give birth to children there get married like do everything there it is beautiful the ambience the everything the, oh my goodness anyway to answer your question if i could live anywhere hands down switzerland that is where i would live oh i love you can we go out for dinner i love you right back and yes dinner sounds like something that i need right now so yeah dinner sounds good the next question is are you studying at the moment at the moment i am not as of yesterday i am not studying anymore so i just finished my exams uh yesterday i think i'm going to post this video maybe a day or two after now so i finished my exams last week and that means i am no longer a student anymore so yeah i am not studying at the moment yes i hope that answers your question the next question is do you have siblings i do have siblings i am a last one we're just two i have an elder brother and yeah yeah so i do have siblings the next question is what annoys you the most what annoys me the most will be to be kept waiting i was about to say people who don't keep time but then i realized sometimes i don't keep time but i hate to be kept waiting and then the other thing that i don't like is untidiness and cleanliness I love cleaning. I am a clean freak. I love everything in the environment that I'm at to be copacetic. So if I walk in somewhere or I am somewhere and things are all over, it is untidy, nothing is in order, that 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 makes me really angry. It makes me nervous, it makes me restless, it makes me I just don't like it. I like when my surrounding is tidy and clean and everything nice because I love cleanliness. That's just me and it irritates me to the core of my existence to be somewhere where it's a, I I don't know how much I I can insist how much I just don't know how much to insist this. I just do not like being somewhere that is untidy. That things are not in order. I just don't like that. So yeah, that really annoys me and being kept waiting annoys me so much. The next question is are you straight? my goodness <laughs> oh my goodness i am very straight very straight very straight i am tempted to ask why but but it's okay well whoever asked that question thank you very much but i am very straight the next question is are you happy i think i'm going to dwell on this a little bit more am i happy i don't know I don't know am I happy Happiness is not the term I think I'd say I am content I'm saying I'm content and not happy because I'm not where I want to be in life I am very far from where I want to be in life and yeah I know I'm supposed to be happy with the little things and make everything that I have right now count but I am not unhappy but I am not as happy as I'd like to be because I do not have I am not I do not have everything that I'd like to have and I am not where I'd like to be. I have not done so many things that I'd like to do. So I am content. I am not unhappy but I am not the happiest that I can be. I hope that answers your question. So the next and last question is when are you planning to be a mom? Wow. This is a uh, Nice question. I feel like becoming a mom is not I am just saying this out of like a uh, experience of friends who have children and just real life stories. Deciding to become a mom has so many things that need to be considered. Like the partner that you're going to be parents with, if the person is ready, there's just so many things that someone needs to consider. And if you asked me 
as of last year a time like now i'd tell you i am absolutely sure that i'm ready to be a mom i'd tell you that i am very sure that i'm ready to be a mom that i'm ready to be a wife that i am ready to be all of that stuff but if you ask me the same question right now i am absolutely not ready i am not ready to be a mom that is all i can say because motherhood requires a lot but i don't think it's a day from now or a week from now a month a year i really don't know i feel like there's so much that i need to do and i feel like someone is really never ready for a child is someone usually really ever ready for a child or are most babies usually oops babies i don't know i do not have a child but i don't know at what point someone considers themselves ready for a child i'd say i'll consider myself ready for a child when i am mentally prepared i for me it's not about the money i wouldn't say it's about the money for me though money is key and essential for having a baby because you're bringing a whole life to this world and it's someone who is going to be fully dependent on you so for me as much as the money is important it's still about my mental preparation how ready am i for this how ready am i to become a mom how ready am i to put my life aside for some time to take care of this human being and all that so to answer your question when am i become when am i planning to be a mom i honestly don't know when for me as of last year i was very sure that i wanted to have children because of peer pressure i'd say it was because of the pressure because most of my friends had children and were married and you know like the whole finish high school go to campus get a nice job get a husband all that was happening but for me i'm here and i'm like these people have two three children later and i am here with no child and i'm like what am i doing with my life immaculate what are you doing with your life but then i decided this is unnecessary pressure so if you're watching me and you're feeling pressure to have a child just because 10 of your friends have children and you're still the, the only one without a child please don't be pressured Imagine have a child when you're ready, have a child when your partner is ready, have a child when you're in the right mental state to bear need to provide a life for someone else because sisi watu wa kando we're just going to keep telling you you're doing a good job, keep going, you're a good mom, but we wende unajua what you're going through, what you're experiencing and things of that sort. So yeah, that's a little bit about me. I'm going to I have already finished doing my makeup. There's nothing more I'm going to do with my face. So I'm going to go ahead and get dressed, style my hair and then I'm going to come back and show you the final look. So yeah, that was it guys. That's a little bit about me. If you have any more questions, please comment down below. Let's interact. As much as you're getting to know me, I'd like to get to know you. Like niambieni, when are you guys ready for children? Correct me if I'm wrong. Like let's talk about it. The questions that nimeulizwa you can also interact with me. Let me know something in the comment section, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, show me all the love that you can show me. It was really nice by the talking to you guys, telling you a little bit about myself. We're going to keep doing this and getting deeper. I have just told you the basics, the the juju things about me. So, we're going to keep doing this and getting to know each other as I get to know you guys. I need you to also get to know me. Yeah, so that has been it i hope you had something to drink especially something warm i have my cup of tea because it's really cold so i hope you had something to drink if you don't if you don't i do not know how you've managed to watch this far but well it is an interesting face to look at isn't it thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys 58 subscribers oh my goodness i am over the moon for the love I am really over the moon. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for commenting. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love I wish I could hug the 58 of you. I wish I could hug the 200 and something views. Oh my goodness, I am over the moon. I am really happy. So this is the final makeup look, final hairdo and outfit. Anyway guys, it was nice interacting with you. I am going to be seeing you all very very soon. Thank you for watching till the end. Until next time. Cheers. I've seen you in a movie, I heard you in a song Now I know that this will never go wrong Like you already knew